five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. 50 years ago today, Apollo 11 took off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The mission to put a man on the moon made possible by President Kennedy eight years earlier. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Incredible. Aboard Apollo 11 were astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Four days later, Armstrong and Aldrin landed at the Sea of Tranquility. Armstrong saying that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And on this 50th anniversary, the Michigan Science Center is holding a special celebration. 7 Action reporter Rudy Harper joins us with more. Rudy. Hey, what an achievement and, and what an exhibit here. We are inside the Space Gallery and behind me you can see some rockets and a spaceship there. The Science Center is actually closed, but they gave us access inside to show you some of what's going on here. And This is really incredible here. This is the Apollo 1 fire exhibit. You can really see what it's like to be an astronaut. Also today here at the Science Center, they held a global rocket launch to break a world record. Three. A countdown to liftoff inside Michigan Science Center in downtown Detroit. <laughs> Children built and launched their own rockets to celebrate Apollo 11's takeoff from Earth. Paulette Epstein hopes the achievement inspires the next generation of astronauts. It's so inspiring and I'm hoping that having things like this at the Michigan Science Center is going to help us to inspire that next generation of scientists. It's just part of the Summer of Science events at the center. Epstein says they have more than 250 hands-on exhibits, live shows, and more. I've also had kids go into our planetarium and at the end of it come to me and say, I'm going to figure out what this is. I'm going to be that next generation of scientists. Through generous corporate donors, they are offering free general admission. The mission is to encourage curious minds around Metro Detroit. I really think that space science is sort of the gateway science. So it's really interesting. People are really excited about it. And um, it leads to things like physics, chemistry, biology, all of those different things, engineering. And all of those things are needed to get the really good jobs that are out there. And on Saturday, more activities are planned here to celebrate the landing of Apollo 11. Remember, the admission is free. Doors open at 10 a.m. Also tomorrow, two scientists from NASA will be here at 3 o'clock. I wish I was off work so I could be here too. That should be a unique experience for children here too. Live at the Science Center in downtown Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. What an experience for yeah. the younger generation. Absolutely. Incredible. Thank you. years ago today.